Now, very similar to the books table, which I had created in my previous tutorial, now I will going to create a table called users. In this table, just like the books table, I have three fields, user ID, username, and password. As I run, I'm now going to be able to see this new table called users, very similar as before. Now, the reason of me creating this table now is so that I can teach you how you can drop a table. In order for me to drop a table, I will going to issue a command called drop table, followed by the name of the table that I want to drop. Since I'm interested in dropping the users table, I'll type users semicolon and I'll run. The moment I'm done running, you will notice that the user table will now disappear from the list. That's how you drop a table.